Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Welcome to Wednesday. <laughs> this is Zero Page Homebrew where we have the late. Oh, messed, it up. <laughs> messed it up. You need it's it written so down. Well. I do. Uh, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 homebrew and more. Broadcasting at 60 frames a second. Yeah, cue the host. Not me, apparently. Um, we've got five games today, including an 8 bit game that we'll be playing. By VHZC. Yay. It's adaption of his Iran game. Adap oh, really? Yeah, port. He's, uh, He's working hard around. the last little while. <laughs> so many games. So many so games, many games. coming out. Uh, We're going to be playing an updated version of Crazy Tunes. Mm -hmm. um, a game called Loaded for Bear AI. Mm -hmm. uh, Smiley by Atari 2600 Land. And we're going to be doing a challenge. Gold Thumb a Challenge. Gold Thumb? Okay. Yeah, from a magic. You know how they have the mm, challenges, yes, yes, the yes. patch challenges. It's not from a patch a, challenge. It's, it's, it's a gold I'm thumb magic. challenge from a magic. Yeah. And I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers, of which we have the most ever. <laughs> the most ever. Look at that huge <laughs> list. It's getting so small, the font that you might not be able to read yeah. it soon. No, it'll just be like this white white just stripe blur, yeah just tiny all tiny together. dots depending on the resolution you're watching this on if you're watching it on your phone can't read it at all so no you yeah. probably won't be able to read it right now if you're on your phone so <laughs> i will be forced to change that at some yeah. point it's getting really tiny yeah uh 35 35 nice yeah um that includes me so 34 Okay. Because uh, you have to subtract me. I'm automatically subscribed Subscribe to my own to channel. Subscribe to your own channel. Well, that kind of makes sense. Kind of weird. Yeah. Um, uh, Twitch subscribers are Al Nefer, Captain Man 2D, Captain Classic, Charles and Check, Dianoid, Dan AVC, Great Defender, Gretem's Ground Trooper, just resubscribed today at 20 months. Uh, Jan Zolanel, John and Nitro, a new person on the list. Johnny WC23, Jupiter Star 17, Carl G. Croco 2600, Cuba 6969, Mark Space Inc., MK Smith, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, Pat Crap VG, RC70, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweet, Sir Cat Leg, Socrates 0603, Spartan 581, Spice Rare Smears 2008, The D Train 37, The Welshman 89, Thunkus, Tiki Dan K, and Trick MD. A lot! A lot, of names. a lot of names and you can support the show as well if you subscribe and you can do it for free if you have amazon prime which yeah. a lot of people do yep. and link it to your twitch prime and click subscribe yeah. or if you don't want to do that just follow twitch well, you so can... you get alerted when we go on live uh, you can subscribe but it's like a pay you... subscription right usually uh, that's what happens you can yeah if you don't, like have, if amazon, you don't have amazon you or can pay as well you already used your stuff somewhere else and you want to use right. it so and you want to spread the love to two channels that's right yeah. And uh, but so, the Prime is very convenient. It is. Yeah. Very it's simple. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's just free. Free mm -hmm. if you do that. Another nice Atari shirt. Yes, this is a good one. I like this one. It's got a little rainbow yeah. underneath the Atari, and it says twenty six hundred. So yeah. it's specific. And it has that kind of gradation that makes it look kind of metallic, almost like it's shiny. So yeah, and this I is like kind that. of simple. It's nice. It's modeled after the Junior uh, design there. Okay, that makes a lot so, of sense. Not exactly the same. The twenty six hundred is is this way, but yeah, uh, but it's got the silver. Yeah, and the rainbow. And the rainbow underneath, which is not, not exactly the same the either. Same, but it's so, close. Yeah, neat. So whoever made this, yeah. I don't know what they're following, but it's not exactly this. The D train. If you haven't got your zero page shirt, don't worry. We haven't either. <laughs> we haven't either. <laughs> And we ordered it before I made it live. Yes. So a lot of you have gotten shirts before we have. But we have gotten other items. Like the beautiful pillow back here. Yes. And, and uh, mugs, the mugs, which, which are Which in I the banned home. you from using. Because she put it in the dishwasher. Me? I... Uh. <laughs> <laughs> which you're not supposed to. No. I don't think. Because well, it's dangerous. I think they're fine, but... You did. They do come off after a while. They'll bang against each other. Yeah, but you you can. Water. I don't think they're. It's like verboten or anything. No, yeah, I just those, rather not. Yeah, I've I've bought a few of those of mugs that have like the heat. Oh, definitely changing, don't put those. In my and clothes. those those you cannot put in the dishwasher. They go crazy. So. And speaking yeah. of nice. shirts, we've got some new uh, people who've gotten their shirts. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is Carl G. 
Yay! He's got his shirt. Yeah, he's got a cat shirt. It's the cat shirt. With Excellent. Atari and Pixel. That's very exciting. Yeah, I yeah. haven't seen a, one of the cat ones. No, this is the first yet, so. cat one that people have sent a photo of. So that looks awesome. It, it looks, looks really, really good. good. So I'm really looking forward to getting yep. that shirt. And this is from ah, Daryl Spice Jr. Nice. Who got the mug and nice. he's added it to his two SpaceX mugs. Oh. And the one on the left is a Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy See, crossover cro with SpaceX. Yeah, that I, I was gonna <laughs> say that's really cool. I didn't I didn't get the SpaceX um initially until yeah. you mentioned the Don't Panic. I thought, oh that's great. And there's the, the other panic. side of the Don't Panic. Oh, one. that's so cool. It doesn't cool. have a towel, but um I guess that's the full Oh yeah. The if full he had a towel suit. in his hand, that would have been awesome. <laughs> would have been even better. Yeah. That's very cool. Um, but it did say don't panic mm. somewhere on the car. I can't remember where it said don't panic. Was it I think it was on the dash. sticker or something? Or I think it the... might have been on the oh, dashboard. Hey, okay. hey, hey. Hello, Atari. Hello, Atari. Um, so that is very cool. That stuff is getting yeah. out there. Mm -hmm. um, so I've got a poll question. I'll put that up at the top here right now. Make it live. One second. Uh, start the poll is it gonna work there we go and the overlay is already there oh it goes over top of the name sorry you saw them anyway mm -hmm. so the poll is uh what have you spent the most money on for your atari 2600 collection mm. or games or whatever you have that's related to atari 2600 have you spent more money on original 2600 games some of them can get very very pricey for the rare ones most of them are not pricey um, have you spent more on homebrew games? Mm. Um, you can answer, well, actually you can answer more than one. You should only answer one for this one because <laughs> it's not a multiple choice really. Um, have you spent more on classic hardware, like actual mm, the old school stuff. systems, joysticks, like pre-92 mm. stuff? And they can get pretty expensive. Some of mm -hmm. the peripherals, um, like the keyboard overlay. Mm. Um, this is specific to the 2600. Just 2600. Okay. Not talking about 5200 or like, 7800 or like buying or, a vectrix or something like no that. just 2600 yeah, fair enough, fair enough. or have you spent more on modern hardware um like the retron 77 mods for your systems mm -hmm. upscaling hardware that attached to the 2600 um brand new controllers like the adladen controllers and things like that that add yeah does 7800 count if that's how you play 2600 cards i would say yes because it's it's how you play the 2600 if and that would be retro. Yes. That would be classic hardware. Classic hardware, yeah. To play it, yeah. Five, yeah. multi-carts. Yes. Multi-carts would be modern hardware. Yes. Because that's not that's not a game. It's hardware that enables you. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, that would... I think multi-carts would count as number four. Mm -hmm. So you can't answer five anyway, so put four as that one. Yeah. Um, I didn't spend a lot on my original 2600 games because I bought most for like one to five dollars. In the 90s like the originals the yeah. original games. well they were super cheap and they're still yeah. cheap now i mean most of them are very cheap stuff. yeah um i've spent a little bit you know filling in gaps but not very much yeah but i do have hundreds of them <laughs> yeah so that would be in the hundreds um homebrew games oh my god yeah. a lot yeah. a lot on homebrew games yes. definitely more on homebrew games than original classic hardware i didn't spend a lot um yes. I've got like five or six systems that play 2600 games, the original hardware. I have a lot of joysticks, but I don't think that would beat homebrew games. Modern hardware, if you count the Frame Meister, uh, that probably maybe beats homebrew games, mm. but it'd be very close. So mm. I'm going to say homebrew games because it's going to win out very soon, I'm sure, with the next batch. So I'm going to put two. Interesting. Yeah. Uh, listening. Cart. It's hard for me as I have a Retron 77 Harmony cart and Atari Vox. Yeah, oh, all yeah, those Atari add up. Vox yeah. stuff too. And I mean, Ooh. even me buying these adapters to play 2600 games yeah. on the PC. Yeah. It's a lot of little things and they add up. Uh, I'm just going to say two for yeah. now. Yeah. I'd like to buy homebrew games because I want to support the coders and it makes me feel like I'm buying artwork, mm -hmm. which you are. These. The covers are great, mm -hmm. and sometimes you get posters in there as well. Yeah. Um, the cats have cute names. They do, and they are cute. This, this is Atari guy. here. Yes. And Pixel is not here. 
He's Pixel's usually somewhere. a lot more flighty. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that cat. Yeah. Oh, he's a cute cat. Yeah. Um, the games themselves are art. Yes, that is true. So, uh, mail, news, and feedback. I showed the mugs and I uh, showed the t-shirt that people got. Oh, and I should give you the link if you guys want to get your own. Um, I think I've priced them pretty low and I think they're on sale now. It's like 35% off, but if they're not on sale, wait till they're on sale mm. or whatever. Do what you want. Don't even have to buy them. Um, so we put together a joystick the other day. Yes, we did. This Let's was fun. Let's take a look at it. This was our project. And I did promise that we were going to do it. Yeah, and um, we did. <laughs> so this is um, the joystick. I'll just unplug it for now so you guys can see it. Yeah. Uh, monster joystick. Um, it is got a little clicky joystick. Yeah. And, uh... and fairly nice buttons. Yeah. Um, and it's a DIY kit. You can pick clear or black and some other color as well. I think it has three colors. Uh, I think they had clear black and then they had a wooden one. like a Oh, wooden, yes. Yeah. Like Atari 2600 like wood. In, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. no? Like, 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 um, oh, uh, like, cut out of wood. Okay. Yeah. And they would cut that monster yes. joysticks there? Yeah. Uh, it was really easy to put together. Mm -hmm. It was kind of tricky because you have to hold things in place while you place other things. Yeah, it definitely needed Especially... two people, which is really funny. Yeah. And because uh, the way you put the sides together, you kind of have to hold a bolt as you screw in the screw and... and. Yeah. Oh, it's just the... Oh. The, all joysticks. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, it's all All joysticks loose. do that. Um, uh, so yeah, that, it, that was a little bit more challenging, but yep. overall, I would say it was super easy. Um, super easy to put together. Like, like there was no soldering or anything no, no, no. like that. It was just... All you need is a, is a screwdriver. Yeah. That's it. So it's very, very easy to put together. Yeah. Would I recommend it? Not 100%. Um, it's very good. It's got a good feel. The buttons are really good. I, I, yeah. It's yeah. got a nice um, footprint. Yeah. Um, it's fairly inexpensive for what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you, can, but, you can pick colors and things like that. Yeah, yeah you can pick button colors. Um, it comes with two red buttons. I picked a black and a white button. Um, you can pick the knob color as well. Um, the clicking's nice. The joystick's a bit crunchy. That's what I would you say. You find it a bit crunchy, yeah. It, it has some give. Like, it doesn't stop immediately. It goes mm. crunch. But if you're not pushing it too hard, you don't hear that crunch. It's not so bad. Yeah, mm. leaf switches, yeah. Mercury switches. No, it's not a Mercury switch. I do have a list stick, and it's, it works pretty good, actually. Um, so I would give it a um, 7 or 8 out of 10. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. Um, not a 10 out of 10. I would, that would be more those um, big, huge ones. Yeah, you like those a lot. That'd yeah. be like a 9 out of 10 yeah. because they're too heavy to put in your lap. Yeah. Well, table, for me, those are more like a 7 because of the size. And I've yeah. said this before, and I've said this with the Genesis. Um, I'm not very comfortable sitting with my feet flat on the floor when I play. So I find the bigger ones, even though they're probably better in some ways, I get uncomfortable after a while. So we'll see if this one works well with like my legs crossed. <laughs> yeah. And it feels like I can control it and hold it a little bit more, but it's very cool. And, and, and it's really neat. What I really need really like is sort see -through? of the, the see-through rainbow yeah. architecture of the wires and everything and aesthetically it's very pleasing so uh, vh said c said he made a joystick with an actual piece of wood and a and a stick i <laughs> rescued from a wii arcade controller cool a stick oh and i like a, a joy joystick, joystick. Like not a, a stick piece of wood and a, <laughs> and a stick a wooden stick yeah um this one i would give an like an eight or a nine out of ten mm -hmm. um but it does break every once in a while yeah and i did fix it oh so you it's did not pulling anymore. it's not pulling okay yeah. you managed to um clean but that it up. is doing something very strange yeah that i will show everybody when we play the okay. first 2600 sure. game um and it was doing this before i fixed it too so i didn't make it do this uh so the next one um youtube uploads so I don't want to mess anything up or jinx anything, but the last three streams that have uploaded to YouTube have re-encoded perfectly fine. <laughs> because before, because we upload at 60 frames a second mm. to YouTube because we broadcast and record at that, mm -hmm. whenever you watched at 30, it would be like 
fine for the first half hour and then it would kind of get bad and then by the time you hit an hour and a half or two hours it would be a couple seconds off like our mouths wouldn't yeah, match very strange yeah at 60 frames a second it was fine but as soon as you go to 30 it would be like just very destroyed weird. at the end yeah but the last three uh streams are perfect mm. like totally fine so i'm hoping they fixed it and i went back to the old ones they didn't it didn't re-encode all the old ones so it's like if they fixed it they're like from now on mm. everything's good they probably don't want to mess with other people's videos that have they've already had up because they may have you know factored that in or mm. something i don't know yeah but most people don't have two or three hour long videos at 60 frames a second that's very true so, so it doesn't usually get that bad but there is a very long list of complaints on the internet about this issue okay so hopefully they fixed it not for unique. good yes <laughs> oh yeah it's not unique yeah. to us yeah um, but it is a fairly specific thing having 60 frames, but I guess more people are uploading at 60 now mm. because of better cameras and that makes sense. streaming games streaming and games. things like that. It's often at yeah. 60. Yeah. Um, so we're going to get into the first game, which is an 8-bit game, mm. um, by Vladimir Zuniga, mm -hmm. VHZC. This was first posted June 4th, 2020 on Discord um and june 6th on the atari age forums and this build is from today it just oh, updated cool. it yeah and it's a 24k game i don't know how it works in the <laughs> 8 bit it just says 23k bytes and i just rounded it to 24. Okay. i guess you can have any size i i have no idea i don't know enough about mm. 8 bit games um other games he's made canonica do re mi draco i ran 2600 and 8 bit night guy in low res world castle days Low Res Racer, Ninja Sky, Peril, Aroach in Space. And you can download this in the Atari Age forums. This exact version we are about to play. So I'll let you add it first. I'm going to play in an emulator because I do not have an SD card um, for uh, SD card multi cart. Okay. For um, my XEGS. Okay. Which I do want to ha uh, get, but I don't know which one. So if people out there can. Mm -hmm. Help me out with that and let me know what is the best multi cart, SD based multi cart okay. for 8 bit systems. Um, I will buy it so that we can play this on actual hardware. Nice. Um, so let's take a look at. Oh, wow, I didn't like that. I didn't like switching away. Did it again. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. So when you. Oh. These emulators do not like multi-screen computers. Yeah. As soon as I click on something else... It goes. It goes away. It goes down to small. Okay. Why is it off-center? Oh. Oh, it's on the whole screen. Never mind. This will bet. This will fix that. There we go. Perfect. Yay! Flip it. There! Flip. And it goes there. That's so annoying. There we go. Okay. So I think we are good. Yes. SIO2SD. Uh -huh. Um ah, oh my god. People can't hear that. You're gonna die. One second. One second. I have to turn it down here, turn on the sound. Oh. And we should be good now. There you go. Oof. Jump on the light. No, it's it's go. a little bit it's not, it's not full, oh. quite full screen, but it's okay. Um, so uh, VHC posted this yes, yesterday. Not yesterday. Yes, yesterday. It says, hey guys, uh, a week or so, I started to develop an endless runner for the game for the uh, oh. endless runner game for the Atari XL slash XE computer computers. It's called I Ran, and it's a port of a game I wrote for the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Oh, um, the update died on the first thing. Uh, it has an arc. A ah, jumping so arc. It's a little so you bit have different. to jump sooner oh, okay. compared to the other game. Oh, okay. So it takes and the a little update bit for today is I wrote a four color PNG converter, so now I can create backgrounds, oh. title screens for four color mode a lot easier than before. So I change it from GR14 to GR7. I don't know about these modes. There's a little pause before it comes back again. So. Mm -hmm. That's fine. Too loud. It's too. Oh, it is loud. Is One it? Second. Turn that down. Too loud. Oh, when you clicked away, it paused. 
Interesting. Well, that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a little bit different timing than yeah. the 2600 version, um, so you have to just get used to you it have and to understand jump the arc. Early. Yeah. This is more of a It's harder to time. It's more of a circle arc than a It no, it's like a triangle. Oh, this is a triangle? No, it goes choo, choo, up and down. It goes goes almost like a It's the same. It's no gravity. It's just straight up oh, and down. Yeah. But when you jump, you don't It's quite it's quite a slow jump actually compared to the, the last one. Um, Mr. Oh. Fish said, "Pretty neat. I have some ob observations and ideas. The road walkway isn't too uh convincing as background to give more as a background to give more th doing bad <laughs> oh i can't get past the first four <laughs> what uh i suggest using something that provides more distinguishable divisions and something more familiar such as a sidewalk or boxes in his first build he did have a lot of stuff going along instead of the arrows underneath there you go you have to jump to well ahead well ahead i'm not sure how these which because you, you have to jump well ahead of it moving. Just have to get used to it. Uh, would be nice if the character could slow down or speed up, provide better control. That's not the point of an endless runner. That's not going to happen. Uh, some sort of checkpoints would be nice in order not to re uh, require starting from the beginning all the time. Maybe I just never reached one. He has not put that in. He does have, have that on the 2600 version. The moon could slowly scroll to add more feeling of movement. That would be super awesome. Yeah, the moon's beautiful. Yeah, it's really, really cool. And the mountains are really cool, too. Um, the background could change to signify new levels. Different planet, different colors. Again, I maybe haven't gotten far enough. I think it's just too new. Oh, oh you didn't duck. I didn't know you could. <laughs> it's the first Same time. as the other one. Yeah. Uh, additionally, holding down the button for different lengths of time could determine how long he stays up in the air. Well, since it's a port of the 2600 oh. version, it's going to be pretty much the same. Could the gra ground be cobblestone? Mm. Yeah, just break it up a little bit. Just just a little... Because uh... he did have it in the original, in the first version he released. And then he just went for smooth. Opted for smooth. Oh, well, you could duck or jump that guy. Oh, little alien. Oh, big dinosaur. Oh, the dinosaur is... Ah! Uh, the dinosaur was cute. Well, that was 49. <laughs> your best one so far. Slightly better. It just took a little get getting used to the jumping. flower some bricks you can kind of see it switch beforehand it does I think switch on a, i think yeah. on a monitor you wouldn't see that like a a tv you wouldn't see that um come on the screen because of the edges mm. oh my god should have done i want to see a moon on the 2600 version <laughs> uh oh now you're making the 2600 people jealous That's a big boulder. Oh, too way too early. Yeah. So expecting like a bullet mm -hmm. style to. It's kind of like Moon Patrol. When you uh, jump, you have to figure out where you're going to land, and especially if there's two yeah. things in a row. Yes. To be able to have time to jump the uh, next one. Well, it's it's. Yeah. Oh, you missed oh, it. See, that's it's so it's, hard. It's uh, the time your jump for that one. Yeah, it's uh, it's a it, yeah, it feels a little different than the twenty six hundred game, but yeah. Yeah, the jumping's are slightly different, but I mean, it's a, it is the same game. Mm -hmm. Oh my mm -hmm. god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you could make a chunky playfield moon <laughs> on the twenty six hundred. Wouldn't look very good. Mm. I like that he has uh. Shading? No, I was going to say different oh. different uh, characters in it. Well, the 8-bit allows for more detailed. Mm. Like, you could do that flower and these bricks. Um, but the dinosaur, not a, you can't do as quite as detailed as he has here. Yeah. See? Challenging. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, on Moon Patrol, it does Moon let Patrol, you... Moon Patrol, you can shift around. Um, I was just uh, comparing... The double jump on Moon Patrol with this one, where you have to kind of plan out how early you do with the jump so you can still make the second jump. Okay. Mm. Oh, he's 
in his car. Yeah, the aliens. Oh That's so far. Got flowers on the moon. Are you on the moon? <laughs> uh, Are well, you on a planet? No, well, you're not on that moon anyway. Yeah. Okay. He, Definitely got some little aliens. He did talk about that somewhere where he's not good at alien coming up with a backstory <laughs> for his ideas they're they're usually too bizarre to come up with a backstory i think it makes it more interesting to make up the backstory as you go along like why would there be flowers and a dinosaur and aliens yeah definitely more interesting projectiles bats <laughs> well the aliens the kind of make sense cute. yeah it's a bunch. well the aliens do yeah you're on a, a planet. Woo. Ah. There we go. What's coming? Oh, the chain. Oh, that was neat. Big grass. Alien grass. Yeah. Alien grass. <sighs> oh. oh. Checkpoint, please. <laughs> That's the furthest I've got. That's pretty good. Commission David mean? Lynch to come up with the yeah. backstory. Oh, that would work. They would make no sense. Uh, one of the interesting endless runners I've played uh, has a reverse gravity component. Ooh never seen one like that where you i've Float never down? seen a reverse a, like a dual gravity endless runner where you go on the ceiling and and you go oh. i've seen lots of games with that gravity yeah where you can walk on the ceiling and then you jump and it goes to the bottom and then you go to the top again or you float like water Wait, it's, yeah it's somewhat yeah. somewhat of a reverse gravity oh that's true i mean the underwater really... levels in mario push you along yeah, like it, so but it if, is, if you have floating... It that's... essentially is kind of an Endless Runner in that respect, oh, even though you can move within the Endless Runner. It keeps moving along. Oh, you almost completed the demo. Damn it. I'll have to keep going just a little bit further. Ah! One more. <laughs> <laughs> this would be great in the Atari Lynx. Uh, endless Runners would translate very well to handhelds. Oh, yeah. Because... They're great little games. For, they're not for too handhelds. detailed. They can be reduced single down. Single button. Single button, very simple, not complex controls. Mm -hmm. um, that one's in the middle, so it kind of always confuses me. There you go. <gasps> I think you can jump over that, but I think you can. You have but to I get the right timing. Time quite right. Having mm -hmm. different gravities for different levels would be an interesting element. Ooh, yeah, it would be. But. Like, could you jump higher? Because that would make it easier. You'd have to have bigger obstacles at that point. If you could jump higher. Oh, oh you made it anyway. You just caught it. Just caught the edge. I'm quite surprised by that. Me too. <laughs> I thought it was over. Oof. I wonder if there's a piggy-like character in this one. Piggy! Where he runs and runs back again. I love the piggy. Duck, jump. <sighs> made it further than me. Oh, you did it! I had one more to go! <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, dead. Gravity Guy. Oh, what platform is that on? Pocket Gamer articles. VH says he says nice. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Can you loop it twice? Uh, I don't know. I died already, so. Oh, did you? Oh. You... <laughs> so I started over. <laughs> Oh, Nothing. my turn. That was cool. I did it, so I kind of like, ah. Yep. Woohoo. Completed the Very game. cute, very cute. Yeah, I like it. Jump. Jump. I think if you hit it, Damn it! <laughs> if you hit that spring, you're fine. No matter how you hit it, yeah. I think it centers you. It's not like the 2600 version, mm. where it's like, you have to hit the spring right, not just hit it. And there seems, it seems to be easier than the 2600 version because there's more, the, the character's smaller and there's more time, more lead up time. <sighs> I'm not doing very well. More lead up time for you to anticipate what's coming. What do you think? Not listening? No, I was just reading very quickly. <laughs> okay. I, missed, I missed your last comment. I think there's more lead up time for the things coming at you. 
so that makes it a touch easier. For this one? I find, I find, uh, yeah, it's slower, maybe? Maybe a little bit slower. It's a little slower. It feels a little slower. Oh, lead time could be that, too. Um, Would they but the it? jumping, the jumping feels a little bit harder to me, but maybe I, it's just I'm okay now. It's just different once you get used to it. What did they say? Uh, Captain Classic, iOS and Android for Gravity Guy. Good start so far on A800. I ran. Yeah. Yeah. Captain Classic oh says, God. yeah, you have more of a lead to the right of the screen. Yeah, it does make it feel slower, but it could be the same speed. It's just you feel, you have more space. Yeah. And some things start at the edge, and some things start off the edge. That's yes. Right. And you can see them switch characters sometimes. Oh, my God. Like, it appears on the screen and then switches the graphics, mm. as opposed to switching the graphics before it appears on the screen. Like that one. Some it doesn't. Oh, oh, why do I keep I jumping that into too. that bat? <laughs> One more game. Mm -hmm. But we, we completed it. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> as long as one of us does. <laughs> Yeah, uh, v VH said C. Uh, the resolution is higher, so the elements need to move a longer way from right to left. Right. Makes so you sense. could that makes sense. speed them up yeah. to make it, if it's too easy. I don't find it too easy. I don't easy. find it too easy, that's for sure. No, no. Neither do I. I do love the, the chain effect. Oh, yeah. Oh, you have to hit the button. I, missed, I know. I yeah. <laughs> I missed it. Grr, the last thing. Grr, grr, grr. Yeah, it centers on that. Mm. Very cute. Yeah, I like it. I like the background. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's just, he jumps too slow. I'll get it. I'll get it. Oh, you're seeing the overscan. Yeah, that's Captain what I Classic thought. That's says, what I was There's a remember. setting in Altair to turn off seeing the overscan area. Oh. So yeah, we are seeing overscan. I just realized that's why it kind of flashes at the beginning. Let me just turn it on. Overscan mode. Normal, mm. extended, normal, normal. Let's see. Let's see what normal looks like. There we go. Mm. Kind of goes off the left a little bit more, a little bit. Oh. Yeah. I missed the parallax effect. Yeah. yeah, I mean it's just an early start. I, he's, I think in the forums he said he's not going to do the parallax, which is sad. There's parallax in the in the Atari one, right? Yeah. Like the buildings. Yeah, yeah. I thought yeah. what he was going to do uh, when he had the. F first version with the moon was to create a little bit of parallax and move mm. the moon along um but never know we shall see this is just the second release of this so the thing that keeps you on your toes is everything moves at a different speed yeah i think that's a, a great aspect of the game that some of those it is some yeah. of those um so you're like either in panic mode or you're like, are flying fly towards you really fast Duck or jump. Duck or jump. Oh my god. Duck or jump. Duck. And jump. Mm -hmm. <laughs> jump. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yay! Yay! Winner! The winner is Do you. Do it again! I'll try. <laughs> Probably won't. Do Probably it make again. stupid mistakes. Uh, 
PHZC. I have I have to figure out how to make a, a scrolling in A8. I'm writing this mm. game in C as a way to learn C. In fact, I'm not an expert in C or A, A8 development. So. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Captain Classic. Oops, I thought he was going to have the moon crash into the planet. Your guy is running Ooh. to get into his spaceship and get off the planet before it explodes. There's your backstory. <laughs> There's your backstory. Perfect. There, I died. I looped it twice. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you can do hardware, play field, fine scrolling. Ooh, there you go. Mm. Um, so, great port, I guess. Would you call it a port? It's not a port. It's just another... Like it's port. Um, because of, back well of his own. Because games nowadays, yeah, they release on multiple platforms, just like they did. True. Back in the eighties. True. So they, and they weren't called ports; they were just releases. This one's for the twenty six hundred. Yeah, this one's for release. the eight bit. Yeah, fair yep. enough. Yeah. Now you have to make a, a Coleco version and a <laughs> television version and, and a seventy eight hundred version mm -hmm. and cover all of the bases. Um, that's uh, that's great, great um, really adaptation. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so looking forward to that. Yeah, it is a very cool backstory. Yeah. <laughs> there should be off versions online, online as well. Yeah. Off versions? I don't know what that means. What's an off version? Uh, so lots of fun. Um, and he said there will be checkpoints, like in the Atari 2600 version. Um, but I will add it when I have more obstacles and screens. Mm. I think I will not add scrolling in this one, but maybe mm. you will. Who knows? Um, we have a update to Crazy Tunes mm. by Omega Matrix. Yes. Um, this builds from June seventh, three days ago. Um, other games: Circus, Atari Age, Crazy Tunes, Venture Reloaded, Ton of Hacks, Trackball Hacks, and PAL NTSC conversions and menu hacks. You can download this version that we're going to be playing in the Atari Age forums. And let's take a let's load it up first. Now, I think I want to show you. What happens when I plug this in? Mm. Um, if it'll do it. Okay. It does. It was doing it a lot, and I'm actually quite concerned about what it's doing. We'll see what happens this time. Uh, okay. Ready? Hold down the button. Okay. Ready. Mm. That's that's not what I meant. <laughs> um, they can see it in the reflection. Yeah. <laughs> it's going a little nuts. It's going a bit crazy. A little bit nuts right now. But that's not what I meant. Hold it down. Yep. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. Come on. Struggles. Maybe it's finally uh, gone crazy. Everything good? Yeah, hold mm -hmm. it down. Atari Hot Plus. Ready. Itchy nose. Okay, it's not doing it. That's what it's supposed to look like. Yeah. We'll give it a couple more tries. And it, <laughs> and it was doing. Hold it down. Yeah. Atari Hot Plus. Remember Ready. it was off color? Yeah, it was. It goes um, like a golden color. Sometimes. Yeah, kind of brownie. No, not doing it this time. Hold it down. It doesn't do it all the time, though. No, it wasn't doing it all the time. Ready. Hair's too long. Get a haircut soon. Okay, it's not doing it, of course. <laughs> so how it works. we're not going to use it anyway. We're going to use the mm. new joystick. Actually, I'm going to use that in port, too. Full of hair <laughs> for everyone. So here's a. Thank you don't you. have to hold down anything for that. Okay. No. No. Atari Hot That's not how it works. Ready. And I'm gonna plug this after it's been booted. To show off an issue? No. Oh. It only it only does it when it's okay. Let's go to today's. What's today? The tenth. The tenth. Crazy tunes. Yep. Sir. Yep. On the edge of sanity. Nice. Crazy tunes. So he's added this new. Uh, oh, so cool! New title screen. Yeah. Looks so awesome. Looks so good. It's got 2020 fading in. Mm-hmm. 
Really, really, really cool looking. It is nice, Danny. So this is a two-player game. Started up automatically when I plugged it in. Make sure my joystick's still working well. Hey, hey, hey! I'm, hey. I'm, I'm playing with the joysticks too. It's new to me. Yeah, you just happen to be playing with the joystick going after the, the goal. <laughs> that works. Ah, uh, no! Ah, you suck. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you suck. Because you're not getting them. I don't know who's ahead. Oh, I'm just barely ahead. Oh, you're close oh, to that one. I can't stay in a lane. That's really... <laughs> stay in what, a lane. What is going on here? Oh, I can't stay in a lane. So, in this game, we have to go for the uh, missing piece. And this is uses, to very good effect, the play field. Like really, really detailed um, play field graphics. And the little guys are detailed enough. When... And the winner is me! Yeah, 30. So, in the last version, he had it um, 50 points. And we were like, oh, 50 is really long. Mm. And we thought, oh, we said, I think we said 30 or something. 30 is pretty something. good. Yeah, 30 is um, pretty good. And 30 is just the right length. It's not too long, but not too short. So mm. that was a great update. Um, and uh, so we're going to take a look at the second game now, which is called Tag. Mm. And he's made two changes to that one. Mm. Um, the max score changed from 30 points to 20 points, which we also said. And we had a little bit tough time discerning who was chasing who. Yes. And he's updated that. Yes. Stay in your lane. Okay. So, now you can see I am running away. Oh, okay. I'm tagging you now. But it also gives an advantage to the person who's tagging because you're wide. Oh. And it makes it very visible who is tagging. Like, you know instantly right away. Ah! No! Oh, ho, 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 that was yeah. unfair! <laughs> you're, that does make it a lot easier to tag. Because well, you're so you. wide. Ah! That's so unfair. <laughs> <laughs> you have to kind of corner the other person. Stay. Oh my god, you got me. Go into a corner. Yeah. As long as you stay. Oh. Stay away from them long enough. Oh, you get to change over. Oh. Ooh. Damn it. And when it changes at the last second like that, it's like, oh my god. Especially when you're really close. Ah, no, Yes, like one away. <laughs> like one away. Not fair. It does that on purpose, I swear. Oh, run, 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 run. Ah. <laughs> I'm yellow, by the way. <laughs> if people weren't knowing. <laughs> oh my god, you're getting better now. I figured it out. Sort of. Have my finger on the button. Button does nothing. Oh, oh my god. Run, run, run. Ah! Very evenly matched, so I don't even know if 
empty might be too high for that sea vent still. I don't know. I mean, depends on how good the players are, right? Mm-hmm. Right now we've kind of made it so we're both fairly evenly matched. Again. Ah! Ah! <laughs> it's huge improvement. Huge in terms of being able to tell. Yeah. So much Actually better. Actually, it's pretty good. Ah! Ah! Oh. Ah! I swear I got you twice I there. I swear you almost did. Oh. Ah! Oh. Ah! Mm. Gotcha. Damn it. <laughs> uh, I think the person who was it is timed? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it, it, there's a timing. I think it's. Might be some randomness to the timing. Oh, come on. Looked like I went right through you. Yeah, it did. You know, it's entirely possible that I could go right through you, depending oh. on if we're beside each other and we, like, switch. I think that's possible? Yeah, it is. Ah. See? Just yeah. went through again. Maybe mm. it's only sensing it off when square. Yeah. Like, not the whole... You have to occupy the same spot. To tag. And when you're going against each other, you could actually flip, depending if you are evenly spaced or oddly spaced against each other, right? You also, I have to say, you do get a sense of, like... Um, the timing of when you're going to flip over, too, because it's, it's pretty random. even. I don't know. Really? No, I think it's really even. Sometimes it seems longer. So you started running away. I knew it was coming. Ah, you got me. <laughs> Did I? Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> that was very silly. That was very silly. Ah! God, this is going to take a while. Oh, it did get you. 11, no, 11 no before, before. Oh, damn it. oh, shoot. 12, 12. Let's see, we're pretty evenly matched. Knowing that you move at the exact same speed is very advantageous. Because you know the other person can't catch up vertically. Oh, well, that was unfair. <laughs> My hand slipped off. <laughs> Part of the game. Yeah. Part of the game. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Have your professional Atari joystick hand dust ready, just like they do with weightlifting, <laughs> so your hands don't get all sweaty and slip off mm -hmm. the joystick. I'm sure they have something like that for arcade competitive oh, playing. Oh, I'm sure they're all because using. Because you get sweaty, your hands get sweaty, the joystick gets sweaty, and you start slipping off. Five more points to go. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty long. I'm getting tired. 
if one person was a lot better than the other, yeah, it would. It wouldn't take this long. But we're just going back and forth. Maybe they could they could put in like a limit, like I don't know, like how many switches or a timer. It's like, well, you have X X minutes to. I'm done. Yeah, yeah, I think so. <laughs> it's too yeah. long. Yeah. Um, first ten, first to ten seems long enough. Yeah. I I think this might be better ten. Ooh, ten. Ten or fifteen even. <sighs> yeah. But it depends on the players, and how good they are. I mean, if you're unevenly matched, 20 is no problem. Yeah. If you're very Still evenly going. matched, which you obviously <laughs> want to be evenly matched, mm -hmm. 20 is really long. Mm. So I would suggest either adding in a timer or reduce yeah. it to so 10. So it's your best score in time. Yeah, timer. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, cool though. Very, very good update yeah. to that. Um, general changes. Fire button will immediately restart the game when it's over because you don't use the fire button in this game. Mm. There was a two second delay, which we didn't notice. Added a title screen and many changes on, under the hood, which I have no idea mm. what they are. Um, the other games aren't changed. They're, this they're one's the same. just making music. And the fourth game is... Did they change the... the... No, they did not. It's just searching for a tone. And Omega Matrix also posted Crazy Tunes. Uh, I'm thinking of adding one more game variation. I've freed up space to implement it. Now I'm working on it. Probably a few days away yet. If all goes well, the next wor version will be final. So, might be one more addition. So we could play that again when he's added that uh, last variation into it. That'd be very, very cool. It's so cool how much fun you're having with just a couple rectangles. Really do well done yeah. mechanics. My hat's off to the programmer. Very simple and very, very yep. neat. Yeah. Because really, it every game is about gameplay. Yeah. After a while, any game, the graphics disappear. Yeah. And it's just reduced down to the, the tactics and the gameplay and how much fun it is. Yeah. Two little rectangles chasing each other all over the screen. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Yeah. It's still fun. And that's, that's what I love about 2600 games and the creativity mm -hmm. that goes into them because it's about the gameplay and, mm -hmm. and how well the game responds to input mm -hmm. and how it's reflected on the screen with the, uh, the, the output of it, the, the sounds, the reaction, the, um, how, how fast it responds. So we're going to move to Loaded for Bear AI, which is a very strange thing. Okay. And we've got a final poll. Um, the poll's done. Poll is done. Uh, so with 40, uh, actually we'll go from lowest, uh, classic homebrew, uh, classic hardware at 9.5%. That's the least most people have spent on. Because mm. pretty much all you need to do is buy some joysticks, paddles. An old system. <laughs> and an old system. Yep. And you're done. Yeah. And it can be fairly inexpensive to get going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like way, like under $50, mm -hmm. sometimes just 20 if you find a good deal. Yeah. Um, the next one is modern hardware. So a lot of people don't put a lot of money into new stuff. They're fine with the old hardware, mm -hmm. fine with the old joysticks, everything like that. Next one up is classic 2600 games. Some people yes. do like buying a lot of those. Yes. Um, and number one, homebrew games. Mm-hmm. And that's why we're all here. So it's you, not very we, surprising. You know your audience. It's yeah. basically... <laughs> a lot of homebrew people. Yeah. Uh, hey, Kirk Jerk. Welcome. That's the author of Loaded for awesome. Bear AI. It was awesome that you were able to make it because he did um, respond in the forums. Nice. After I let him know. Yeah, nice. That we're going to be playing it. So we'll be playing that right now. Mm -hmm. It's uh, by Kirk Israel. K is Israel. Um, you can load it up. Check. First posted June seventh, twenty twenty, of this version, and this build is from June eighth, so two days ago. Nice. And you started going. Okay. What am I doing? <laughs> well, you started going. You have to deal with it. Um. 
so it's a 4K game. Uh, other <laughs> games, uh, Flapping, aka Joust Pong, Loaded for Bear, and Loaded for Bear AI. So this is actually a... Didn't take long. I didn't know what I was doing, so... <laughs> nope, because you pressed the button before I said you could. <laughs> That's how we do it. <laughs> Um, you, you can download this version in the Atari Age forums. It's got some great title screen music. Um, Loaded for Bear AI, an original Atari 2600 deathmatch, now with computer opponent. Because it was called Loaded, Loaded for, for Bear. bear. Gotcha. Now it's Lo Loaded for Bear AI. Uh, do bears shoot in the woods? They do now. A frenetic deathmatch for one or two players. Run through the leafy forest. Every time you shoot, you freeze and lose your natural camouflage. But you can control your shot of bearish doom right into your opponent. First bear to 10 hits wins. The original two-player version was written in 48 hours for the Global Game Jam 2015. Nice. And featured the best Atari music this side of Gyrus and Pitfall 2. Gyrus has an awesome, awesome music for the 26th. Nice. Uh, the 2020 update adds a relentless but gullible computer opponent. Update, the new version drops the camouflage in one-player mode, which should make things clear. Pro tip, the computer is fierce, but not smart. Hard if you to can hear you over the music. I guess the music's loud. It's intense. It's intense. There we go. Um, pro tip, uh, do, 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 if you, the computer is fierce, but not smart. If you can make it to the screen, the computer might be confused enough to give you some breathing room on the edge of the screen. Um... Okay, so let's play two player. Okay. So we can Not, kind of show no it AI off. again or <laughs> Oh that's what is that? Two AI. Oh yeah, it's just two player. Okay. Start it up. So don't move. Don't shoot, please. So we're both green, which is confusing. Um I am um a supposedly blue, I'm guessing, because I'm on the right and you're on the left. Mm. We're little bears in the we're forest. We're hiding in the forest, yeah. Hiding in the forest. And the screen scrolls vertically. Ah, so when I shoot, you can... Oh, you're camouflaged because you're green. Yeah. But you can kind of reveal the other bear by you moving and scrolling the screen. Well, you can you can see them. And when you shoot, you stop moving. Oh! <laughs> I, don't, I don't understand how the shooting works. It tracks Press you? Press the button. Don't get close to me. Just practice. Press hold the button and move your bullet. Oh, you move the bullet. Okay, well, that makes a <laughs> lot more sense now. Gotcha. So you're vulnerable while you're shooting. Gotcha. Okay, that makes more sense. But you're, um, yeah, so you have to trade off when you're going to be moving and when you're going to be shooting. So if you shoot... I thought you were safe. I thought he said you were safe on the edges. No, you're not safe anywhere. Oh. Oh, I see. So if I wait for you to shoot, and then I shoot you, and my bullet gets to you faster, mm. then, I, then I win. <laughs> Ten to two. Ah. It is a very simple but well balanced game, mm -hmm. um, and the vertical scrolling adds a bit of uh, confusion and weirdness to it. Because <sighs> <laughs> you can run away from my bullet as fast as I can move it, and the the pace is just frantic. Like, you can move so fast. And when you get to the edge of the screen, it's like running on a moving sidewalk. <laughs> it kind of speeds you up a little bit, or at least feels like you're sped up. Ah! Ah! <laughs> you kind of... I'm uh, getting wise to my tactics. <laughs> Tactics are get close to her, then shoot her. Yeah. <laughs> I have a hard time controlling the, the shot. That's my big problem. It is fast. It's as fast as you move. Yeah. 
And especially when the other person's moving, it's it's very challenging. Ah. Whoa. Ah. I think you're gonna get me. I only one away. There you Victory! go. <laughs> so a bear can run just as fast as a bullet. Yeah. yeah. So you can evade. Yep. And as long as the other person's not kind yeah, of... The bullet is the same speed as the player's because I'm lazy, but it works. Yeah. <laughs> it true. totally works. It's yeah. actually really good that you're as fast. Yeah. So you have to be very clever in trying to get the person. Mm. Uh, you want me to play the AI? Uh, yeah, I want to see you play the AI. No, you should play the AI first because no. I know how to beat him. No, you, I know no, how to I beat No, I want to watch you beat him. No, because it's a trick. And it Do will it. make it too easy. Play it for play a bit. Play it. Play it for a bit. <laughs> Ugh. Then you'll know how to beat him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then it won't be fun because yeah. the, the way you beat him is not very fun. No? No, it's not. Oh, I see. Because <laughs> your bullet always reaches him first. Ah, uh, I getcha. I can do a flawless victory. Yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> 10 out of 10. Yeah. Also answers the age-old question where a bear does shoot in the, in the woods. woods. Yes. And he does. Yes. Now, can I beat him without doing that trick? Maybe. I doubt it. He's very hard. Like. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's brutal. He, he, his bullet goes exactly to you, and he runs right alongside of you. So I don't, like, I don't think you can. Do it without your trick? Yeah. <laughs> you lose. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> yeah. See, it's too easy because he because he had stray for you. That's what makes this trick easy. Oh, I didn't get him there. But running away from he's relentless. He's mm. so brutal. Oh. oh he got confused. He's like, where did you go? I can't see you anymore. Yeah. It was interesting. I wonder why he stopped. How can I get to that same spot? Like, I wasn't even off the board. I was kind of hidden in the... I don't know if that's part of the AI. If you hit hide in the... Hide in the green, he can't see you. Nope, he can, saw, he can see me. So, I, I, mm. it's too hard and too easy at the same time, mm. the AI. Two-player game is one. awesome. Death from a trick, yeah. Death from a trick. <laughs> I hope that no bears were harmed in making of this game. No. No, I don't think so. so. Let's just read a little bit more about the game. Um, random terrain posted. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in the game. The enemy seems to run right at me. Then I can't tell which one I am or which way to shoot. Um, okay, and Kirk said, fair points. I've modified the game to remove the camouflage. Bears are the same color as the forest when not firing. Yeah, that would be very confusing. If you're... Because the build before this one had the bears green, even when you're playing against the computer. And he's so fast, you wouldn't be able to tell. Um, so from his website, it says the original two-player version <laughs> was written in 48 hours uh, for the Go Global Game Jam 2015. Yep. Um, you can download the 4K Atari ROM, including a source code um, as well. Um, if you're overwhelmed by the in-your-face tactics of the computer-controlled bear, head for the screen borders. Mm. CPU is relentless and has great aim, but is not too smart. <laughs> and um, when I announced that I was going to play it on the show, Kirk posted on the Zero Page homebrew thread, I have been out of the loop for a while in terms of the homebrew scene, but what a nice idea this cast is. It's broadcast. <laughs> uh, homebrew makers are probably all starving for some validation that, that, hey, at least I saw somebody play my game who wasn't forced to because they live near me. <laughs> and in general, there's so much out there. I'm really curious to see what interesting things are being done on Homebrew. Quite a bit. Quite, Quite a bit. A bit. Yeah. Enough to fill a two-hour, two. two to three-hour show twice a week. Yeah. So that yeah. answers your question, how much Homebrew is going on yeah. just in the Atari 2600 scene. Yeah. Um, so we have a lot of fun each week playing games. Yes. Um, so we're going to go to the fourth game okay. called Smiley. Smiley. And we'll put the Atari box back in. 
I like hearing the tar box's voice. Atari Hot Blood. Ready. And this is by, this is Smiley, and this is from 2007, by Chris Reed, a.k.a. Atari 2600 Land. Nice. Uh, first posted February 27th, 2007. This build is from March 1st. It's a 4K game. Mm -hmm. Load it up. Smiley. I don't know what the two is for. No idea. Hmm. Um, were you trying to press go? No, no I was okay. trying to see if there were options or something. Uh, yeah, there's no options. I, I have no idea what that two is. Um, other games, One Line, Billy the Ball, Castle of Doom, Dr. Flynn and his Pills, Isaiah's Wee Chase, Jack and the Beanstalk, Killer Bean, Bees, mm -hmm. Kirby 2600, Larry the Lemon, One Button Bob, Midspace, Super Mario Sisters, Whitewater Mantis, plus a thousand other games. <laughs> he is the most prolific Atari 2600 homebrew oh, wow. programmer for sure. Yeah. We've played dozens and dozens and dozens of his games. Nice. Usually keeps them under 4K, yeah. sometimes 2K. They're all like simple, simple concepts. He mm -hmm. um, puts out like three or four builds and then moves on to the next one. Cool. Um, he just thinks of an idea and goes, yeah, I'm going to yeah. make a game of that. And then just goes to the next one. Um, and why not? And some of them are really, really good concepts mm -hmm. that, that work well in a small game. Uh, go for it. Can you press one to start? No. <laughs> okay, you got to get the pluses. That's it. Gives you a couple seconds to start. Or you have to press one. There you go. Ah. Get the pluses before they hit the blue. Uh, could this be model number AE02? You decide. I may have posted this game earlier, but now it's improved. With title song, black and white support, and a couple other things I can't remember. Suggestions, commented, comments wanted. How to start. The title screen, press down. Press down the game switch and press fire. Uh, controls, up, down, left, right, move, smiley. When smiley's moving, you can't move until he reaches an intersection. Uh, object, the object of the game is to get as many green things as possible. You get three lives at the beginning of the game. If a green thing touches the blue tubes, you lose a life. Uh, the game ends when all three lives are lost. Ah. Uh, to get back to the title screen, when you're at the game over screen, press fire. Ooh, they're getting oh. faster. And it also matters which direction they're going, because if you get them on the back side, it would be slower than getting them on the front side. Change the cart! Oh, thank you. I will change the cart. Sometimes I miss things. And I do work on these things. It's the problem when you there don't you have a producer. <laughs> that's right. Nobody on the switchboard. Oh, that's still loaded for bear. Or you produce bear. your own stuff. <laughs> Did I not put on loaded for bear? Oh my god. Uh-oh. Terrible. Happening? They're smiley. Ah, you got me. There we go. Ah! Pay attention points. to what you were doing. <laughs> Don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Yeah. 88. 89. Um, scoring. For each green thing you get, you get one point. One point. Ah. Points. Oh. Second guessing 98. yourself. 98. It does have some um, difficulties. Okay. Um, novice and pro. Left difficulty is on novice right now. No, it's on Pro. Never mind. Yeah. So now you can play the novice version. Because somebody got... Is that why there's one and two? Uh, novice Pro? Now I figured it out. The high score in the thread is 228 points. I wish the button was reset. So 228 points is the score you have to beat. 228? Yep. Novice? Now you're on novice, yeah. Seems like a lot. So this was entered in the 2007 minigame compo under 4K, and he said, hopefully it'll do better than Ants. And I couldn't find the results of the 2007 minigame compo, so I'm not sure uh, how it placed. But uh, I think it probably did pretty well, because it's a pretty fun game. Oh, Alan the First keeping track. Nice. 98. Uh, but that's on Pro, so I have to differentiate. Put a P beside it. Seems about the same speed. It does. Hmm. So we'll see. And this does have NTSC and PAL switches. Well, that's good. Obviously, it's it on NTSC. Doesn't seem that different. Is there more? No, more lives? No, I don't think so. No more lives. No, you still get three. So you can hear the crunchiness of the joystick. Yeah. Uh, kind of grindy, crunchy noise. 
That's my only complaint about the joystick. Other than that, it's pretty good. For the price, it's good. Ugh. Uh, See, sometimes what oh, it is... Oh, keep going! It do, yeah, it doesn't keep pause. Going. No, no pausing in this one. No button to continue. It's sometimes you think you've hit down and it goes in an opposite yeah, uh, direction. And you can't turn around until you hit a tube. Yeah, and like I so. meant to hit left and it went down, so that's what got me last time. Oh. Ah, that was terrible. I should have kept going. Ugh, and I'm wasted not paying attention. One. That's okay. I have to run. Hold on. I'll be right Joystick back. sounds so clicky. It is clicky. I mean, it's <laughs> meant to be clicky. Okay, 104 for Tanya on basic mode. Okay, let's see how I do. So you should never be more than two away. So a slight pause after each one is a good idea. So you don't continue on. But it's going to get to the point where maybe I have to continue on. Sometimes you get a bonus one where it's no, 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 no. Where it's right over top of where you are. Time left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, a couple bonus ones there, and again. Ooh, what does it score? 228? Ah, that's a tough one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, no. 162. Paddle would be cool. Good. The problem with the paddle is that usually paddle games are out like absolute, like you'd be spinning it. Mm. That would be a different variation of the game. Yeah. It would have to be much faster. But you do have to. It you can only turn on the corners. Yeah. I don't. I, I don't know if a paddle you'd have would to work change. That. There, there's already kind of a paddle game like this. Mm. What is it called? Where there's things coming at four directions, mm. and you have to catch them in the four directions, but you can't go all the way around. Mm. And also, a pad you wouldn't be able to use the paddle. You'd have to use the driving controller because it spins forever. Mm. Paddles have a, a click at the end, so it wouldn't work. Yeah. 162. Press button. It's weird. You have to press a button to go back to it. Then you have to preset, re press reset. And then you have to press a button again. Yeah. Yeah, a paddle wouldn't quite work. It would be a totally different game. Because paddle is like, you'd be like, up top, left, right. I mean, you could do it. The added difficulty would be like, you would actually hit a corner. Like, you'd have to make one of the corners the thing you couldn't pass through. Mm. But... If you did change this into a paddle game, you could make it something like this, where you had to collect maybe not one thing, but maybe a bunch of things. Oh, gosh. 
like change the idea of say Tempest, which is very difficult to make on the 2600, into something like a collectathon of an outside ring. Um, where you have to start collecting things along the outside ring. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. And there's like a time limit on these things that you have to collect. Um, maybe they can change colors to show how much time they have left before you can collect them. It's definitely not enough paddle games, so I highly encourage people to make more paddle games. Because it's oh, such no. a it's such a unique input, unique to the 2600. Why not take advantage of it? Maybe change the play field uh, with crossings. Crossings. One thirty. Almost there. To my score. Oof, that was. That was very tight. close. Apple II had paddles too, did it? I never saw the paddles on Apple II. Very interesting, I'm gonna look that up. Nope. Like actual, actual paddles, just like the Atari? I mean, Apple is not a game console. Let's see. Oh, I do. There's the paddles. Those are kind of cool looking. They have a handle on them. Uh, oh, 183. Pretty good. Pretty oh, good. Oh, no, there's different types. Look at the paddles. Oh, yeah. The Apple II. For the Apple II? Yeah. Oh. Different paddles. Neat. Oh, cool. Yeah. So what did you get? 183. 183. Oh, beat my score. <laughs> good job. You're doing well today. Mm. <laughs> My ass all over the place in games today. Oh, that was bad. Drums are out. Across the street in the park. You guys probably can't hear the drums. Yeah. That means it's summertime. Around <laughs> here it does. It's the summer drums. When the drum circles start up. Oh, a long way around. Ah! Didn't count! No! Reset! <laughs> oh, the rage reset. It doesn't reset. <laughs> you just have to wait. You just have to kill yourself. Does which Ar doesn't take long. Does Arkanoid controller work like the Atari paddle? Good question. I don't know. Arkanoid? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it's... um. Because you can only go so far, mm. I, th I think. Oh, you mean in the arcade? Mm. Whether I'm it assuming. spins indefinitely yeah. or it has hard limits. Yeah. I don't think I've ever played Arkanoid in the arcade. <laughs> so I, even if I did, I still may not be able to remember mm. whether it does or not. I'll have to play it next time I see it. Because that's a fun game. <gasps> It's the same beat every time. Oh, no, this is the band. It's yeah, not the drum circle. it's the band. Okay, there's a band that plays across the street from us yeah. for years and years yeah. and years. The same band. They practice it's in like, parks, too, yeah. They've got uh, brass instruments. Mm hmm And they play... No, no, no! Mm. It went the other way. They play the exact same songs year after year. Which, you know, that's what you do in a band. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we're very familiar with these songs. <laughs> I think they do occasionally add new things to they their do. repertoire, but they're just like a community band. They uh, they actually meet at a local community center. So I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen them practicing there. And then every once in a while, they'll come to the park and they'll play in the park. Yeah. So it's kind of which neat. is a joy for people who've never heard these songs before. <laughs> not so much. A it's joy not for bad. Us. It's they're not good. bad, but they do do <laughs> have a tendency to play the same thing over and over again, which which does get a little a little. And it's uh, got that beat. Duh. Da, da, a little tiring da, da, after a while. 
da, 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 da. Yeah. And they're, they're fine. They're good musicians. Mm. And they're getting better. We're not complaining about the music so much. It's just the repetitiveness. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No! no! 155! It's so competitive. I am. You can't let my score stand. What's happening? What's wrong with this joystick? What just happened? I'm gonna die. On purpose. I couldn't go to the right. Yeah, I saw that for a second. I still can't go to the right. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! No, 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 no. Fiddle with the plug. Plug's oh, coming out a little bit. It is there. coming out. Try it again. Apparently the right <laughs> the right uh, pin came out but nothing else. Reset or yep. select? No. The right pin came out? Oh, yeah, because yeah. it's loose. Yeah. It yeah. did pull out a little. I blame that for my low score. <laughs> oh, I mean the console Arcanoid controller that was available for NES and MSX and other systems. Oh, oh I don't know. I don't have that. Um... I think I saw it once yeah. at a convention. I didn't buy it because it's. I, it was for the NES. Um, it was mm. not inexpensive mm. because, well, it's only for one system or one game. Or maybe another game too. But anyway, it was too expensive for me. So true, there is uh, paddles for the NES. I don't know if any homebrew is taking advantage of that. Do not follow the NES homebrew scene very closely at all. Mm. I mean, I, I noticed it when big... I got that. I'm like right on top of it. Guess you have to touch the actual plus. Maybe. Maybe you have to... The hitbox is tiny. Yep. I think the drummer only knows that one uh, beat. One beat. <laughs> All the songs are different, but the beat is the same. <laughs> no, 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 no. <sighs> Close. Oh, it's getting fast now. Mm-hmm. No, I physically couldn't make well, it there. Well, sometimes it happens. I find if it's if if it's moving away from you and it's at the farthest point away from you, yep. you're kind of screwed. You are. Oh. That was a mistake. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> it does. Oh, 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 you're getting close. Oh, really? You had 180 yeah. something. No, 183. That's that's much more than I what I have. You're getting close. Now you're getting close. Oh, beat me. <laughs> Hooray! Now I'm dead. Oh, 188. Yes. Not, Just five. Bad. Not, Not bad. Not bad. SG 1000 also has paddles. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> there you go. Atari 2600 doesn't. But it is the most widely used system with paddles. Yeah. Because it, it came with the system, mm. I think. Okay. Now it's time to get on to the last game, Ooh. which is a high score challenge, mm -hmm. which is Dragon Fire by Magic. Let's see if we can get the Golden Thumb Star, was it? <laughs> Very strange names. Okay. This is by is from 1982. Oh, okay, let's load up the graphic. There we go. Um, it's a 4K game. Other games that Bob Smith made, you can load it up. Arcade Pinball, Dragonfire, Moonsweeper, Riddle of the Sphinx, Star Voyager, Star Wars the Arcade Game. Very good game. Um, and Video Pinball. Um, we've never played this before. The score to get for the Golden Thumb score is mm. 25,000. And I bet that's really hard. 
I looked it up. Yeah. It's not as hard as the last time. Well, the last one was impossible. So, so. on the Atari 2600 High Score Club, mm -hmm. 22 people have beaten 25,000. Jeez. Including our very own Captain Classic. Nice. Nice. So, Captain Classic. Uh, he got third place with 199,000. Mm. But he also has very, very, very high scores for a lot of other games. Mm. So I'm not going to say it's easy, mm. but it's achievable. Okay. Um, so um, it's a pretty simple game. Okay. There's two screens. There's this one, which has very uh, similar elements to uh, Iran. You have to duck one of those and jump over the other one and go from the right to the left into the Dragon duck Slayer. Oh, okay. And then when you're near the dragon's lair, there's a whole bunch of treasure to collect. Mm -hmm. Dragons at the bottom going back and forth shooting you, and you have to get out the door. Okay. And then you go back to this screen. You do it all over again. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> yep. Duck on that one. Oh, and my duck goodness. And jump over that one. Oh, I'm just my timing for the jump. Oh, my gosh. I would move and jump. I would move and jump. This is crazy. Not just uh, jump straight. Oh, there. that's why. What am I doing? What am I doing? <laughs> Let's try that again. Second screen has a nice swoopy motion. Yes. Oh. And you can hide. Oh, that's hiding. Don't come out when the dragon's right no, next no, to you. No, no, no. I just didn't realize. And the graphics in this. Oh, my God. Um, yeah, don't oh. go along the bottom. The, the no, I, no, I died and respawned. Oh. Stay near the top. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> You have to you, move and jump. You have to one. move. You have to be running before you jump. <laughs> uh, Dragonfire by Magic, 1982. Dragons have driven the royal court from the castle. Oh, we are lost, lost, laments the king. Without our vast treasures, we cannot raise an army against these accursed dragons. Our kingdom must languish under lizards. Nay, not so, my liege, replied the young prince. None knows the castle, these many bridges and storms better than I. Give me leave and I shall loot these lizards of their plunder and restore my lord to his birthright. Brave boy, said the king, fully pleased. But, he added darkly, ah. beware dread dragon fire. Okay, I can I can see. 1,600 points. Oh, that, they came right at the same time. Yeah, you don't want to stand back until oh. they start separating out. I can see. I, oh, goodness. Go near the bottom only when the dragon's nowhere near you. Go near the top when he is near you. There you go. <laughs> Game objective. To reach the king's treasure, the prince must run across the bridge. He must dodge fireballs tossed by dragon hatchlings. Ooh, oh, dragon goodness. hatchlings. Terrible. Uh, he nimbly ducks under the high ones and leaps over the low ones. Fortunately, the fireballs can't hurt the prince if he runs back into the tower at the right of the bridge. So you're safe on the right-hand side. Yeah, good to know. Not that you want to be there, because you're not getting very far if you're hiding. And there's no time limit on either of these screens. And there's hiding, so you don't have to panic. <laughs> don't go near the bottom when he's near you. I know. I, I understand. <laughs> I don't need that advice. Thank you. You sure? Yes. I can say it multiple times. I still have to get the things on the screen. Oh, see, if you're not running when you jump, you don't you don't go anywhere. Yeah. You can't jump and move, which is frustrating. The key on the bridge is stay to the right until the lower fireball comes first. Uh, uh, yeah, the graphics are really amazing they are cool. on this. Uh, single line uh, kernel graphics. Very, very detailed. Um, especially the dragon, which is incredible looking. Oh. Oh. It's the timing. And I love the hit. I know the, the hit is... Goes, is... And you get hit backwards, especially if you get hit by the lower oh, fireball gosh. while running. You'll kind of trip over it and die. <laughs> it looks so good. Um, when the prince reaches the left side of the bridge, he arrives in the storeroom. He's inside a hiding place he can return to at any time. The storeroom is filled with beautiful objects and a fierce dragon whose breath can cost the prince one of his seven precious, precious chances. So you get seven lives in this game, which oh, is a you lot need of lives. Them, though. Ugh, I always get killed right at the end.
Uh, help. When the dragon looks the other way, the prince runs to each object and retrieves it for the king. When he has bravely cleared out the room of its treasures, a way to escape appears. He runs to it and reappears in the bridge, ready for another daring raid. Help the prince get as many treasures as possible before he's hit by fireballs or dragon fire seven times. Gameplay. First, run to the treasure room and the left of end of the bridge. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we get all that. The gameplay. Yep. The game is over when the prince has been hit seven times by the fireballs on the bridge or by the dragon fire in the treasure room. Your final score flashes on the screen. To play the game, play again at the same level, just press the red fire button. Amazing, an old game with fire button to, to restart. Uh, scoring. So the crown is the biggest points. Not, not that there's choice. You have to get all the treasure every time. So the score is like random, I guess. Player games. Opponents use different joystick controllers and take alternate turns. Yeah, okay. Players will find different treasures with the same dragon. Hmm. Tactical tips. This is what we need. Still, jumping from a kneeling position is pretty impressive. Does he? Can you jump from a kneeling? Oh my god, that's funny! It doesn't help because you don't jump high enough. <laughs> but it is funny. No, because you, you need to move when, when you're jumping. That's kind of the difficult part. Hiding. <laughs> not intentionally. He's just not moving where I want him to go. <laughs> Hiding is funny, though. Yeah. That you have a safe place. Not many games have safe places in them. Ugh. In the head. It just comes too fast. <laughs> Don't spend any more time on the bridge than you have to. Cross it as fast as you can and you'll encounter fewer fireballs. If you face an impossible combination of fireballs on the bridge, run back to the right tower if you can make it in time. You're safe there. Or make the prince squeeze through the close trailing fireballs by jumping from a crouch. Oh my god. No. <laughs> In the treasure room, f run fast to the objects. Keep moving. Return to the hiding place if you need a rest because the dragon never stops hunting. That's hilarious. I love when the hints are like, yeah, of course. I mean, that's the game. <laughs> yeah. Oof, oof, fast blue dragon. Sorry, I mean you need to go to the top to go first, then cl clear the right, just as a lower fireball, fireball crosses the screen. Hmm. Hint, don't die. Yeah, pretty much yeah. a lot of hints in, in arcade game manuals back then are like, Ugh. avoid the fireballs, make sure you don't run out of lives. Am I done? I'm done, yeah. 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 I, 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 yeah, I don't know if... Um... You're trying to jump from the, the crouching position? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just trying to wait for the mm. wait for the top fireball to come. I've seen a video of somebody up at the 25,000 mark. Oh, really? The dragon's insane. Oh, I bet. Just crazy. Oh. Yeah, see. Accidentally came out. Yeah, but I, that's what I find I keep doing is is I'm, I'm running to the left and it just, I just accidentally come out. And you're like, ah, I didn't mean to come out that early. Ah! Yeah, because you're running to the left from the bridge. Mm. And, and then you just immediately come through and it's like, no! <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. The fireballs aren't fast. He is fast right now. Which makes the lower... Better. Mm -hmm. Better than me. <laughs> <laughs> 
funny spit is when you clear the bridge, then keep running, then have to run back. Very comedic, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know James loves the dragon, but the treasures are gorgeous. Yeah, they're oh, they, they are. are really nice. Really, really nice. Very nice multicolor. Try to stay to the top of the dragon cave, only come down to collect treasures. Yeah, and immediately oh, go back yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I mean that's a hint. That's a real hint. Not the stuff in the manual. Mm -hmm. Terrible hints. Died twice. So. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Oh my god. Oh, harps. Nice. Don't, don't, don't you find it hard to move, like, to move accurately? I don't know if it's the joystick or the game is just very sensitive. The game is very fast. Yeah. What did I... Oh, my God. Oh, I still have life. Oh, castle blue. Oh, my God. 24. 25,000 is what you need? 25,000, yes. Oh, that's a lot. It is. The harps are cool. I agree. I really like that. The harps look great. Another problem with this joystick, it has very sharp edges. Yes. Not, I was going to say it was, it was beginning sharp, to, to irritate me on this side. It is. It, yeah. Irritating my hand. Well, that's why you're moving your hand. Yeah. Might want to switch to another controller for this one. It's pretty, pretty joystick and it's pretty stick intensive. Uh, the manual didn't say anything about getting extra lives, so I'm guessing there are no extra lives in this game. Harp moving? Mm -hmm. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, you just die instantly. If... That's a problem. The when... instant die? When you're moving to the left, yeah. you get killed by the dragon, you automatically respawn but and, and still move to the left yeah. and you can get and you can die. It's the instantly. same thing about running across the bridge. You immediately uh... come out the other side. And uh True. Get it. <laughs> mm -hmm. The movement of water is a nice touch. Oh, I didn't even see that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's these little things and there's not much to it. It's like, where do you start drawing yeah. the water? That's all you have to do. Instead of drawing it down one, you draw it down two, or three, and you just map. Mm -hmm. Stop it. This game is really frustrating at points. Because of the way it's set up, there's no, there's no time. There's no in time in between dying. You just automatically reappear and die again instantly. faster too in higher <laughs> levels yeah like i do yeah but i guess you have to to beat these dragon bullets oh my god Stop it. it's hard oh my god. it's it's How i, am I, gonna I, get I that find one? it very hard to control you have to almost run straight across the bottom yeah 
I'm going to change joysticks. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs> this is brutal on my hands. I need yeah. to sand that down. Yep. Get some... Um, I have I have, I have fine, fine sandpaper, actually. It would probably work. Oh, it died. It, like, pressed the button for me. I'm going to die on purpose. I love his death throws. <laughs> One more. There we go. <laughs> okay. On the higher dragons, always be moving in the opposite direction the dragon is moving. The dragon will have a hard time staying in line with you. Mm. Okay. Where am I? There I am. Oh! It was just nope. timing. That was bad timing. <laughs> Rage reset. <laughs> yep. All right, Carl G. Have a good night. I will make a Rage Reset t shirt. <laughs> I, I've been trying to think of a design for it. Uh, I mean, obviously, a, a reset button somehow. Yep. A reset switch, but. Yeah. <sighs> stylized mm -hmm. 2600 reset bot switch thank you Oh, Nathan Strum, I have a design in mind. I'll post it later. Ooh. <laughs> I, <laughs> Very cool. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <sighs> this game. I thought I had a fighting chance, but apparently not. It's like, oh, other people can do it. Therefore, I can, too. No. Lower ones and the fast dragons. Just don't know. Oh! Seriously. Oh my god! game why doesn't it start you in the castle to either i guess people would be confused if well i guess it just shows okay you're starting now by showing yeah. you that people would be very confused like where's my guy what is happening can't i have the green dragon all the time <laughs> These fireballs don't get harder. Why do I? Why do I keep dying on them? But sometimes they come close together. That must be completely random. Double death. See, that's Ugh. so unfair. <laughs> I'm sure it's the same unfairness everyone else experiences. It is. <laughs> I mean, everyone has to deal with it too. But I just, I think it's unfair. Ah, I find the figure eight pattern works best to collect treasures, says Captain Classic. Mm. Uh, well, diagonally downward, collect a treasure, start moving straight up. The dragon will likely have one to three fireballs near you. Dodge right a little while still moving upward, and then you are back at the top to get the dragon moving the wrong direction from what you oh are Oh my moving. god, that does work. Then repeat the figure eight pattern and Start. grab another treasure. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I died twice. I only need ten times the score that I have. Yeah. This might be one we have to work a little towards. <laughs> yeah. 25,000. I can't imagine. Oh They're god. so fast already. Yeah, it's like down yeah. like that. Yes. Because that... Like the figure eight is, works really well. Mm. Because it allows you the most time possible at the bottom of the screen. Mm. Gotta follow the pattern. <laughs> yeah. Gotta follow the pattern. You do. That's what most of these games. Oh my god! Oh, 
straight attack. Kirk, Kirk Jerk says, oh, that reminds me, ZPH uh, thought Pateri and Joust Pong was malicious. <laughs> Pateri and what? Pateri? Pat oh, Terry. Terry. Yes, did we? Joust Pong. <laughs> I'm trying to remember now. Joust Pong. Yeah, your little flappy things on either side. Oh! And there's a little Terry guy that bounces the ball wildly. Oh. Yeah, Kirk Israel made that game. Oh. Nope, just figure eight type moves that weren't aligned with the width. So it got a little chaotic. Hmm. Oh, Captain Classic, you need to do this for the black white dragons. Their speed causes them to overshoot your position. Mm. The dragon only shoots a lot when it's in line with you. Terry. Yes. Pterodactyl. Uh, yeah. Flapping. Right. Yes, 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 yes. I was trying to remember that. Yeah, figure eight moves. Yep. That weren't aligned. That makes sense, actually. Oh, my God. I still think he's malicious, though. Oh, he is. <laughs> he's pretty cool. He's definitely malicious. Not a lot of games have, have pterodactyls in them. Still have to get it on the figure. Oh, uh, better, yeah, better. Three thousand, three thousand. Still getting hit in in the knees by these things. Sometimes it's just timing, though. They are a little bit faster and slower. Yeah. But, but they're still they they shouldn't be hard. They're very far apart, and I'm just not getting the timing. That was the joystick's fault. <laughs> It was supposed to be going down at an angle, not straight down. Straight down will kill you. Because if you're doing figure eights, he only really shoots one fireball. Yeah, it's, it's only when you're in line with him that it becomes a problem. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you do have to use that. Because then you're not dodging the fireballs. You're only dodge. You're not dodging any fireballs, really. This joystick is not doing angles. No, not very well. Very well. Thank you, Captain Classic, for that hint. It's it's amazing. It clears the screen of the fireballs. Love those harps. Those oh my harps God. are amazing. Just died like three times in a row. Get out of here. Yeah, I wonder what the lore for the masts on the bridge is. Yeah, and they change color all the time too with the background. Different castles. The you're... masks. The masks. The on masks. The, bridge. the lore. I I mean I've certainly seen faces and masks on bridge oh, those. bridges. Oh. Neat though. Oh, getting fast now. Green. <laughs> yeah, take a break. They're supposed to be shields. Oh, mm. okay. At least they are in other versions of Drag Dragonfire. Interesting. Yeah, I've seen screenshots from other versions. Oh, get in there! It's pacing like one of our cats. <laughs> <laughs> like, where's the food? Where's my food? It's time to eat! Where's my food? Pixel when he's hungry. Ooh, where is Pixel? I'll be right back. God damn it. 3,500. Okay. Oh, that's good. The angles are not doing well on this joystick. Going back to the other one. Or I may switch over to an Epix joystick. Ooh, get used to this one. Mickey. Oh, where's he going? What? Oop. Oh, I didn't even see that. Oh, angry cat. Angry cat. Oh, is he licking his lips? Ready to kill? Yeah, he is. Here. Angry, are you unhappy? Come here, just at least say hi. Say hello. <laughs> Sleepy? Hey. Was he sleeping? Yeah. No wonder he's angry. Disturbed his sleep. I know. He's like, I'm going. 
<sighs> I hate you all. Now he's attacking the other cat. <laughs> attacking with love. But not really. game <laughs> cheap deaths oh I didn't mean to go in there come on oh my god I should not be dying on the fireballs jump go Is, uh, is off. Oh, thank you for coming and watching. <laughs> hey, Jared Gray West. Yeah. One person leaves, one person comes. That's right. Captain Classic, I have a video with hints on YouTube. No sound. <laughs> no sound. Is it just text? I don't know. Probably just gameplay. Oh, just gameplay. Yeah. Hints. How are you giving hints? Must be text on the screen then if there's no sound. I'll have to check it out later. <sighs> oh. Oh, sadness. I don't like this joystick either. Mm -hmm. Oh, it just fell out. Mmm. It's too... This one is too sharp on the edge. It's pissing we me off. We can do something about that. Yeah, we can. Yeah. This one is not getting the angles well. Yep. Are we I'm going to, to the... the uh... Come on, move it, move it, move it. You're going to get squished. Move it, move it, move it. <laughs> getting angry at the cats. Taking out my cats. Try the Epix joystick. Let's see how that works out. Because you don't need the button for this. So, this one's fine if you don't have buttons. Ooh, he's... What is wrong with your legs? Moving left. What's happening? What do you mean moving left? No. It's not working? I'm having joystick issues today. It's not moving left very nicely. He's like stuttering. <sighs> Another joystick. We'll find one. We'll find one. Let's try this one out. Luckily I have them all handy. <laughs> Pack refugee. So many tests. There we go. That's better. How does he well does he do this way? No, the angle's not good on this either. Like, trying to do angles. Mm. And he's either going straight down or he's going straight across. The best angles are on the one that hurts my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to that one then. Oh, and I forgot to tell people why I bought this do-it-yourself joystick to begin with. Mm. It is especially made for old systems that have just one button. Because this second button, it has a switch for it. And the switch changes it from up being up to that button being up. Mm. So that when you have games that have jump is up... And fire and the fire fire button is fire button. Yeah. You don't have to press up anymore. You can jump and fire with. So you the have two left, buttons. right, and then jump and fire. Left, right, down. Yeah. And jump and fire. That which is really cool. Which That's is a really amazing. neat idea. Yeah. Okay, let's just go. Okay. Oh, okay Jerry Gray West, I like how you can jump and land on your knees in this game, but it always makes me cringe when I think about how painful oh. that would be. <laughs> yeah. Oh. oh. Agreed. <laughs> Can anybody actually jump a fireball while kneeling? Like in this game? It's not going up. No, it doesn't go up. From, you have to walk left out of the door. No, literally it's not going up. Oh, is it not plugged in? Oh, let's have the switch. <laughs> I don't need to press, I don't want to press that the That would explain it. Because I was demonstrating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, VH said C is, on, is off. 
Have a good night. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Oh, oh, we've got an Atari. Atari cat. The door's closed. It's very hot. That was my fault. Come, come. Hang out with us, please. Come, 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 come. Be sociable. Yes, be a sociable kitty. Yeah. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I've got my own controller. <laughs> cat controller? Yeah. Yeah. You gonna purr? Come on. You want oh purrs. my god. He's like a James Bond villain cat, this cat. He'll <laughs> just sit on your armchair and you can just pet him while you, yeah, you look plan those, to take over the world, you know? Those cats of evil people in the movies, they don't move. They're well, so... And before I had him, I was like, those aren't real cats. They must be They must be sedated. Like, I don't understand how a cat would just sit there and let you pet it all day. But then I met, then we got Atari. And it's and, like, nope, and, and that's real. And this is a real thing. Like, he just, he's so full of love and just wants to be pet all day long. I have to try and yes. get my angles right. Yeah. There so he go. is truly a Bond villain cat. He is. Yes. Yeah. Although Sorry they're usually really watching fluffy. This. They're usually really fluffy Bond villain cats. This is pathetic. I, I apologize <laughs> for how pathetic this is. Yeah, Atari is a good boy. He is an excellent Atari 2600 game playing cat. He is. He really, really is. And that's why we put him on a t shirt. Oh, right. oh no, don't go! Oh, it's okay. Pixel, come on. Pixel's at the door. He he just doesn't want to. Uh, Shy today. He doesn't want to come in. <laughs> he always goes crazy right before the the, the stream oh, it goes starts. Nuts. He starts running all over everything and playing with cords. And James gets mad at him. And then I think we're gonna have to watch Captain Classics some um, uh, hints <laughs> and cheats uh, YouTube. I think and so. We may have to come back to this one because 25,000 oh, yeah. is a lot. It's a lot. That might have to be the theme for um, a marathon if we ever get around to it. Us um, playing this for hours? <laughs> uh, trying to get trying to get these these golden whatever they are, thumbs or whatever. Gold thumbs. Gold awards. thumbs. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, hide. <laughs> I'm scared. Run away. <laughs> Since the dragon only shoots fireballs when they are near you, only be near the bottom of the screen when they are on the opposite side of the screen. Yeah, that's the whole point of the figure eight, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. To optimize how you can get down to the... Go straight down. Nope. There, there you go. go. Hide for a second. Hide. Yep. Oh, there's Pixel. There's a Pixel. He's on trouble? the cat cam. No, he's okay. gonna play with your uh, Saturn, Saturn or Saturn, Saturn Sega Genesis Sega. controller. Why did I think Saturn there for a because second? Because there's a Sega Saturn. <laughs> not a system I have. No, but it's not a Genesis. So. No. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, look at their diamonds, flashy diamonds. Go away, go away, dragon. He stays in the middle. Does he? Yes, he does. When he's waiting for you. Turn around. The other ones didn't. Just... No, Cheat they, death. They all wait in the middle if you're in behind the door. Mm. No, oh, he found a spring. Oh, I still have one guy. Thirty-two ninety. Thirty-two ninety. Middle bottom treasures of the artist. Yes, they are. the treasures are random mm. so your score is kind of random oh, jumping from his knees get up Go 
straight down. There we go. Oh, you can crouch in midair. That's ridiculous. Well, they do. They do go to the. And you're hiding. You do hang around the center. Spring? He did. Oh, he spat it out. He's so cute. <laughs> you gonna play? You gonna bring it back? Oh, didn't even see where it went. Oh, to roll the, the score hell? takes about three and a half hours. Wow. What? I have never got that high, but in a previous Atari Age High Score Club, I think I scored over a hundred thousand. Oh, you did. We we said that at the top of yeah, the game. Yeah, we saw that. Or you, you mentioned that. That's yeah. crazy. That's incredible. You got yeah. third place. And I think you just got over 100,000. Yeah, pixels, it, pixels on the cat cam again. Does it max Almost out Captain Classic? 200,000, wow. Yeah, what is the rolling? The rollover must be what? 100,000? 100, yeah. Oh, maybe it is. But, um, no, it's got to be higher. No, no, sorry. Yeah, he got over a hundred thousand, almost two hundred thousand. Yeah, you, you, you. What did yeah. you say? One ninety. One ninety something. Sorry. <laughs> yes, a really hard magic game. Yes. <laughs> they're, all, they're all hard so far. Yeah. Um, what did you get? Hundred and seven. Hundred and ninety-nine thousand three hundred and twenty. Yeah. Wow, that's impressive. So, what's the rollover score? Is that a million? Probably a million then. Wow. If they can display that many digits, That's unless, crazy. unless there's a like a limit that they they didn't account for. Some of them are like, you'll never get this, this high, and then they don't worry about making the scores work that high. Hmm. Oh, I knew it. But is there a speed limit? Like at twenty-five thousand, does it stop getting faster, or at Fifty thousand. Because usually on games, it's like, well, this is the fast it goes. Mm. It doesn't go any faster. You just have to. <sighs> I'm fighting the controls today in this game. That's what I feel like. Usually, it's not the controls I'm fighting. It's just my terrible gameplay. <laughs> but. Today it's the control. Like that one's hard to get. Yeah. I think I have to kind of I don't think it's... start earlier. I find so many of these older games yeah. are based there so much go. on speed and control, if that makes sense. Like yeah. like repeating Accuracy. the pattern and being really accurate Jesus. in your movements. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, I suppose that's true for all video gaming, but um, but but it's more so for these way. older school games, and and it's like you you're dead, you start over, you know. It's it's um. Yeah, I think there's just not as much leeway in these no. old ones. No. Oh, it doesn't get any harder after the white dragon. Stop it! Oh, a cheap death. That is the thing I do not like about this game. Gregory West. James, did you get patch level scores for all the Activision games? Not yet. No, no. I wouldn't say that's happening oh, 15. yet. 15. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, just expanding out the repertoire to get some of those ima the magic ones. Yeah. So. 4,000, I best so far. Yeah, very good. <laughs> not really, but yeah. I'll do a couple more games. Shoki, 1968. I wish this would have been ported to the Odyssey 2. Oh, was it not? The Atlantis port for the Odyssey 2 is superior to the Atari port. Because hmm. ah. hmm. on some ports, this treasure room looks kind of 3D-ish. It looks very cool. Hmm. But the 
figure eight thing, magical. Mm -hmm. I don't, I, maybe I would have eventually figured that out, but uh, mm -hmm. not for a while, I don't think. Oh, that was close. I should have done that. Because it minimizes the number of shots mm -hmm. he has on you. And also pretty much can sweep the whole screen. So it's a white dragon, he said? That's the max That's dragon? That's sort of the worst, yeah. The COCO2 version of Dragonfire is awesome. Coco. Awesome. Coco. Coco Color 2? Color computer. Yeah. Oh, is awesome. Uh, that, uh, according to Arena Foot. So. Mm. I, I really like this blue. I, I just needed to make you like that this comment. One? Yeah, the kind of fluorescent blue. Yeah, it is a nice. Screen is. Matches the harp. Feels like playing blackout bowling or something. It's like so, bowling, it does. so so fluorescent <laughs> in color. Oh, I knew it. Captain Class Classic says the Intellivision version isn't bad oh. either. Mmm. Hate that cheap death. Of course, being stupid doesn't help. Oh, I knew it. Oh, did I get an extra life? I didn't see anything in the manual about that. Oh. Shoki 1968 says, Tell James I'll email him tomorrow about Bigfoot Family Rescue. It was a Kickstarter, oh. so I have the cartridge, but the ROM I can't find. Oh my god. The ROM you can't find? Yeah. Oh no. Mm. Oh. Does the Retron 77 mm. dump carts? Or does it just, like, can you interfere with the dumping of the card on the Retron 77 somehow? That's the highest level I've got to. How come I don't have the highest score? That's very weird. Because the treasures are randomized. Random? Yeah, it must be. Because I've got 4,000, but not got to the Black Dragon. The Black Dragon's very yeah, hard to that's see. That's true. That's true. Very, very hard to see. <laughs> it was not easy. I died very quick. <laughs> Oh, he ah! gotcha. He gotcha. Oh, oh, rage resets. Joysticks. No, no pixel. Oh, don't freak out the kitty. <laughs> oh, look what happened. Look what happened. Yeah. Rage reset broke. Al's Atari. Or Al's Atari. Ready. Bad kitty. <laughs> Bad kitty. Kitty didn't do anything. But they usually do get. Oh, he gotcha. They usually oh, do get no. blamed for everything, though. They do get blamed. It's like, what is this? Yeah. Bad kitty. Yeah. They're f always fluffing up the Wi Fi. <sighs> the thing's falling out. Oh. Careful. Don't push too hard. Don't break it. No. It's new. It came with this metal piece. But putting the metal piece doesn't help. Keep it in? To keep it in. And I'll try it again. It's very difficult to put in there. Yeah. Actually, it, sh it should hold it in a little bit better. Because that's a little bit tighter. Doesn't seem like it. Okay, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me, kill me. See how cheap that is? <laughs> You'd automatically die if you walk along the bottom. I can strum hot glue and or gaffer's tape. <laughs> yeah. It's a very fast walker. Very fast animation. Pixel's very chill right now. Yeah, it's, it's good. Okay, cat. let's try it now. Atari. Atari, come here, baby. What's he doing? Sleepies? He's just sleeping there, but he should be sleeping between us. Come on. Come on. No? He says nope. Not today. Not today. Uh, oh my god. Nope. I think I'm going to have to retire on the 4,000. <laughs> Not getting any better. No? 
So you can jump. Watch, watch this. You can jump and land on your knees. You can't move though. No. I wonder if you can clear that low one. Yeah. Oh, you can. Yeah, interesting. Not easy. You have to jump the very last second. Very, very well timed. Oof. But it's not useful because you can't move. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> I maxed out and now I'm getting worse. You know it's time to stop when you're getting worse. Yeah. There just becomes a point where like, improvements nah. are not happening. No. Um, Shoki was saying, uh, have you guys played Stranger Things Dig Dug Hack called Barb's Revenge? Uh, uh, I think we did, but we don't really play hacks on the show because functionally they play exactly the same as the original. Yeah. Usually. Did we play that? But we did, play, we that. did play that. Yeah. I it was kind of interesting. It played it on a Halloween show, I believe. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, because yeah. Because it's That's like where the hacks come out. halloween -y. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hacks come out on Halloween and Christmas. And halloween and Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because there's very few holiday-themed original games, but a lot yeah. of people change them into elves and Santa yeah. and creatures and things like that. So it's very... We rarely play hacks unless they're very transformative hacks mm -hmm. that actually change the gameplay itself. Mm -hmm. Um, like Omega Matrix is um, a game, one that he did. Actually, I should have it on the list here. Um, Venture. Venture. Mm. Didn't make it to the list, but I remembered it. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll come back to this. I know I can do better. 25,000 better. I need some strategy, I think, and a little bit of practice. And a, the right joystick. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Dan. The D train uh, says this is why we need to make Menorah Madness. Yes. Menorah Madness. Yes. yes. It's better to move directly upward after the initial left to the exit. Yes, yeah. it is. Space Invaders Independence Day. Yeah. Good show. What's coming up on Sunday? Sunday, <laughs> Sunday. It is Jumper. I just recently found it. Uh, oh. Jumper is a Jumpman clone. Um, okay. Jumpman port ish. It's like Jumpman which I've been looking for for a long time, so I'm amazed I didn't run across that. Um, and then these may or may not stay. Silhouette, Rainbow Invaders, Solar Plexus, and definitely Galagon will mm. be playing as part of Harmony Games uh, Ooh, number four. Galagon. So we're going to try and put in some scores. Yeah. We won't have the highest. <laughs> no. That's for sure, because there's some good Galagon players out there. Oh, it is wonderful. There. Yeah. Um, and then a game with a very long name after that on next Wednesdays, then Push Trucker's Revenge. And on the June 28th, that's a Sunday, uh, we're going to have a spotlight on Thomas Yench mm -hmm. with a video interview by him. He's going to be coming in remotely for that. And we'll be uh, playing all of his games mm -hmm. and talking about them. And he'll be talking about them. And uh, so get your questions ready for Thomas Yench mm -hmm. about any of his games or anything he's done or personal questions. <laughs> no, it doesn't have to be personal questions. Probably best not to. Mm -hmm. um, so we played... I Ran Today by VHZC. Very cool 8-bit conversion. Yeah. You like that? It's just the start of it. Um, I like I Ran. Yeah. It's a good game. Fun game. Crazy Tunes. Great uh, improvements. Yep. Looking based at on some our, of the changes. Based on our gameplay, yeah. I'm guessing. He didn't <laughs> yeah. say it was based on a gameplay. Well, he, he did just, post it immediately afterwards. He so. just happened to change it to exactly what we thought. Yeah, <laughs> which is very cool. Which is very cool. And yeah. it did improve it quite a bit. It's a, Well, yeah. It's a very good game. Especially the tag. Set of games. That, that helps Really, really lot. awesome. Yeah. The wide in Very the stylized. I like the music and the tones. Everything about yeah. those games are just really cool so i'm really looking forward to the additional game he's going to put in there let's put another one in yeah he's uh see someone's in a creative flow right now and just right. yeah it's nice nice uh loaded for bear ai that was a great two-player game lots of fun throwing mm -hmm. uh the bullets at each other in the woods yeah bears yeah that's single a player too it's very uh it's hard to make ais well, Especially, it's very hard, and then when you found the trick, you were just destroying it. So too it's easy kind or too of hard. Yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah. Smiley, really fun game. Mm. Um, sometimes Atari Twenty Six Hundred Land just knocks it out of the park, and that's a really fun, simple 
movement game around the corners. Very zen, zen kind of a game. You just kind of have to relax zen. into it it's and like, then boom, move. Boom, yeah. boom, boom. One yeah. of those shooting games. Yeah. Like very, very, very cool. Turn your mind off, focus, yeah. relax, focus on the whole board at yeah. once kind of game. Yeah. Uh, we need some classic Defender action as a high score game on the show. Oh, yeah. Defender. I'm so terrible at it and I really don't like Defender. Really? <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know why. It's a shooter. Yeah. Which I love you shooters. You love shooters, yeah. It's just the way the board moves in relation to you and the momentum of it. It's just really hard. Plus, there's no patch score you need for that. It's just, <laughs> just a game. Just a game, yeah. So maybe after I defeat all the Activision and all the Magic games, which mm -hmm. I won't get the Magic games. <laughs> and I probably won't get all the Activision games. Mm. Then we can maybe move on to other classic games. Yeah. Um, give, them, give them a try. But I might move yeah. back to Activision games after this because, oh my God, these are magic scores or nightmares. They're nightmare scores. Yeah. <laughs> really Agreed. Crazy. Agreed. And then we play Dragonfire. Yes. Nightmare. It's, <laughs> it's a fun game. It is a fun game. Um, I like the two different screens. Mm -hmm. um, this one is like the screen with the fireballs coming across the bridge. Great, great graphics in this game. Unbelievable. Um, this screen is fairly easy, but you still die in it. And yeah. the dragon but one... random, so it's, sometimes you just get unlucky with the fireballs, but yeah. I find Defender too easy. I can play indefinitely. Oh my god. James, I, al I got the almost final covers for the volume four today. Excellent nice. Arena Foot. That Excellent. is great. Yeah. So that's Arena Foot's new book coming out nice. for... Um, what's the official title? I always forget it. The Atari 2600 Homebrew Companion. Nice. And that's volume four, which I have a foreword in it uh, that I write about what is homebrew. And nobody's complained about it yet. <laughs> so I guess I did an okay job. Uh, um, so we'll be back on Sunday with more games. But first, I'm going to see who was in the chat. A 06502 Arena Foot, Shoki 1968, mm -hmm. Captain Classic. Thank you very much for all your hints. Dragonfire. Danny VC, the D Train 37. Jared Gray West, Nathan Strum. Thank you, Nathan, for the continuation of fixing my computer. Oh, did I give an update? Uh, no. I don't think I did. No. The RGB is dead on the system. Very sad. Yeah. Yeah. But it was suspected that it would be that. It was fried. Yeah. The good news is the 2600 is completely fine. That's good. Yeah. That's so, the very important part because yeah. he said it, a good 2600 is hard to find. Like, it's in very good condition mm. and it operates great. Uh, all the buttons, everything's really good. The output's good on it. Um, so I've ordered all new parts mm. for the 2600, um, a new RGB, and also component mm. as well so it'll have component out um the rgb of component with the rca cables which the frame meister does have that input as well as an add-on for the back oh, so we'll have the option of using one or the other nice. when it's done nice um so all those parts are shipping to him right now mm. um i ordered them just the other day so they haven't got there yet obviously mm. um but i think most of them are in the US, but the RGB board is in the UK. So that's gonna be taking the longest to get there. Mm. So we'll keep you up to date on that as it the, happens. The progress. The yeah. progress. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uh, same names, West, same DJ. names. Packer at VG, Kirk yes. Jerk. And thank you, Kirk Jerk, for making a loaded for bear. Um, fun, fun game. Uh, VHZC, who we also play his game, Iran, mm -hmm. got uh, three, two, two, two of the developers in here, and nice. a high score person from yeah. Dragonfire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Carl, Carl G. G. Uh, Lee, uh, Lee Kebler, Lee Kebler. How about Lee Kebler? Probably. Yeah. Uh, that's a new name. Al Nefer, um, Kev Kelly, Ground, Ground Trooper. Trooper, Spartan Five Eight One. Uh, John Drill, Splendid Nut, Paul Mattbot, <laughs> um, Kip Kelly's in there, and Mark Space Inc. M.K. Smith. And M.K. Smith. Excellent. Thank you, everybody. Uh, Defender reminds me of sleepovers as a kid playing Atari till 2 a.m. 
-hmm. fun times mm -hmm. and we can still keep having fun times by playing them now um so thanks for tuning in we'll be back sunday morning 11 a.m pacific time mm -hmm. um 2 p.m eastern time at whatever time zone you're in you'll have to look it up mm -hmm. um and we'll have some more games and some more fun so we will see you then Thanks for uh, tuning in. Yes. And checking the games have out. Have a good night. Thanks, Jupiter Storm 17. Yep. Have a good night. Bye bye. Bye, guys.